Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to show you how to figure out fractions. Now here I've got a little problem, I've got a trip. I'm going abroad and with us are going 25 girls, 40 boys, 10 adults and 2 drivers. And the question is, what fraction of these people will do what? For example, what fraction of the party is girls? This is important because we know how many rooms to book and things of that. So, to work out a fraction of the whole group, how many are in the whole group? Well, the whole group is 25 plus 40, 65, plus 10, 75, it's 77. The whole group is 77 people. So, out of 77 people, what fraction is girls? So, the fraction of girls would be, well, there's 25 girls, 25 seventy-sevenths of the group. This might be a useful piece of information to know, that 25 seventy-sevenths are, are in fact girls. The next thing might be we decide to we have to pay for the rooms. What fraction are paying? What fraction are paying? Well, the adults are going, they're having a very hard time, they're looking after 65 kids and they deserve to go free. And so would the drivers go free. So, in fact, 12 of the people going will not be paying. So, 65 out of 77, or 65 77 of the group, will actually be paying for the trip. And therefore this can be used when working out the costs. You take the cost and you'll be dividing by 65, not by 77, because these will not be paying. So when figuring out fractions, what we're trying to do is we're trying to look at the logic and the information that's provided, and then, using that information, we are trying to uh, get data which will be useful for working out the rest of our trip. So here we are, using fractions to figure out the problems with our trip abroad.